Hi fam, it's really late, I'm exhausted, but I didn't want to go to sleep without giving you something that I think is going to be crucial for 2022. And since it hit me today, I, I, I didn't want it to go in the vastness of my consciousness and then that insight would be gone. I'd come up with more, but it's so very important. I, I wanted you to have it. If you can grasp this, and I know you can, acting it out will be a, another story, but at least you can absorb it, let it digest and permeate in a good way. Your 2022 will be the fucking bomb. It will be so different if you do and realize this one thing. Every single one of you that does not feel enough, every single one of you that feels like you're not perfect enough, every single one of you that are impatient, the three go together. I'm going to tell you exactly why that is. Yes, we can talk about the myriad of reasons. Is it myriad, myriad? Okay, there's a word there that means many, but I'm going to get to like the balls of it, okay? <laughs> And this way we can turn the balls of fate our way. So listen up. If you are a female and you are plugged in very deeply, very, very deeply into your masculine energy, you are plugged into status, logic, criticism, competition, challenge. If you are predominantly into your masculine energy, it means you've unplugged from your feminine energy or never knew it. And you'll know you never knew it when I ask you right now to tell me five things that make you happy. How about even two? You won't know. You're too busy working other people's shit, helping other people, figuring out why people are so fucked up. You haven't had the focus on you. So when you are predominantly a masculine energy, you can never be enough because it's linked to status. So you can never have enough money. You can never have enough knowledge. You can never have enough beauty. Then you will feel like you can never be perfect enough. And the reason you're feeling you can't be per perfect enough is because your energies are warped. Your masculine energy is up here. Your feminine energy is somewhere down here below China. And so you sense that there is an imperfection. You're not balanced. You are not perfectly in sync. And so you will never feel like you are perfect enough because you're not in your center. Let's tackle you, men. If you're predominantly in your feminine energy way up here and your masculine energy is down here and you need that sucker to plug you into your logic, to your grounding, to your ability to know that when you make a decision, it's game over. You know you've made a decision, it's done. It's done. Done, done. You relax. You made a decision. I'm going to get that woman. It's done. I don't give a fuck what her situation is. She's mine. That's how good you are with your connection with yourself, with your grounding. Because it's not about being positive with some blank state of just nothingness in your head. You think, okay, I'm just going to be positive. And yeah, what is that? Like a white piece of paper in your head. But you are a cocky ass bitch, confident because you are anchored to your sense of doing this whenever you've made a mental decision. And so both of you, when your feminine energy dude is too high, you will be overly emotional. You'll be scattered. You might start a project or two, but never finish it. Same for you, masculine energy girl. You may start a few projects, but think, well, I don't have enough knowledge. I don't know enough yet. I don't have all the resources. I don't have the energy. I don't have this. I don't have my toenails painted, whatever. You won't have enough anything. But if we can just unplug and replug and have my men, we so, so need you to be a lighthouse in our stormy seas. We so need you to be anchored in our stormy seas. That means your lighthouse needs to be lit. 
It needs to be functioning. It needs to be grounded in the rocky, stormy seas of the ocean, which is any woman you're going to meet on any given day of the week, month, and year, period or no period. And if you, my ladies, if you plug back into your feminine energy, now, of course, it's a bit more of a challenge because you're going to need to find it. It's harder to find than it is the masculine energy for a guy. Once you do that, you will no longer feel imperfect. Once you do that, you will feel enough. And I know that it's hard to grasp intellectually, and that's because you will feel enough. It's not an intellect thing, being enough. It's a feeling. And then the world is yours. You will no longer be impatient because you will no longer be imbalanced. And so I just wanted to leave you with that. And also to say, use the last relationship you had as a practice tool for what I'll tell you. You need to understand the very first steps of learning to read energies. I know you have your sensors, you have your feelers, but what happens is usually when there are red flags, it's not that we don't sense them, we do, but our senses are on dim. So we have this passing feeling or something, but we're, we're somewhere else. We're not in the present because you see our senses, our sense of smell, our sense of feel, touch, taste, everything, is always in the present. And so if your senses give you a feeling, a high vibe, a low vibe, a sick vibe, and you don't notice that red flag, it will blow up in your face as you've noticed the whole tower will become crushing down the foundation of blow to shit. But you got to understand that reading energies is like tissue paper. You don't know that there's another layer. So you're internal senses is the other layer and, and you have to have a little bit of finesse to separate it but once you do you will always be able to feel the tissue and to understand that it separates which means you will be present so look back at your scenario I want you to look back and I want you to think of a time you looked at a picture with you and your girl or you and your guy and you didn't recognize your girl you didn't recognize the face of your guy. He looked so different. People hang around together. They look the same. The moment someone looks different is because their internal energies are different. They've meshed with someone else's energies. They've taken in another friendship. They've, they've commingled either sexually and or emotionally or at the very least emotionally someone else's emotions. And so they will look different, just like your dog looks like you, your cat looks like you. Family members have the same expressions. The people who are with you the longest, your face starts to blend like them because your energies are glued together. Look back at when the picture was different. And then also look at another time where maybe they brought you a gift or they brought you something because it was an occasion to bring you something. And maybe you were excited because it was something you really wanted, but there was a disconnect somehow. You were excited and your eyes and all your senses caught the way they looked when they handed you the gift. And you were so focused with the excitement of the gift, you failed to notice they weren't really present in that excitement of giving you that gift. They weren't there. That's why they were emotionally someone else, somewhere else. And also, and here's the most critical one. Notice when you're at dinner or when you're, again, at another event or when you're at the movies or somewhere together and you're sitting next to each other. Notice when you felt completely by yourself. And it's harder to spot when you're outside. I, I know you could be at home and you guys could have arguments. You can feel alone. I'm not talking about the obvious. I'm talking about what's not obvious. 
when you're at a gathering with other people, when you're outside the environment of your comfort zone and you feel like they're not there, like their insides are not there. And you could say to them, where are you? And they'll say, oh no, I'm just, you know, focusing on the concert or I'm just looking at the play. I'm just really into it. No, they're not into it. They're into someone else and they've separated from you already. And so you feel like you're either babysitting or you're completely by yourself. In fact, if you would have taken off and moved over to another seat or another table, you would have felt calm and happy all over again because you wouldn't have felt all alone by yourself, separated from self. I'll leave you with that for now. I hope that does something for you. And I love you, love you, love you. Bye for now. I'm exhausted, I'm sorry. Bye! I think I that took everything out of me. <laughs>